Hello everyone, my name is Georgie Mottram. I am a performer. I trained as an opera singer years ago and since leaving college I did some shows and met the girls of my classical crossover girl group Ida Girls London on an off West End show in 2015 and since then we've been performing full time, obviously pre-Covid, um, doing all sorts of things like festivals and cruise ships and producing our own shows and our own albums and big events and fun stuff like that. So I run and direct the group as well as singing it so it's been a total joy. I am also a singing and piano teacher and a lecturer but the reason why I'm here is because I'm a breathwork practitioner and Official London Theatre asked me to come on and share my top five tips for dealing with stage fright and anxiety from a breathwork practitioner point of view. Now, not everything's going to resonate, which is totally fine, um, but hopefully some stuff will resonate and I really hope I share with you some tools um, that are going to help you. So my number one tip um, would be starting to change the wording around stage fright. Stage fright as a word has huge um, negative connotations, emotional implications, and still a lot of stigma attached to it. And really, um, as performers, we are very often given up an immense amount of time, energy, commitment, passion, love, sacrifice, to be a performer. So when we're told that we are petrified of the very thing that we love, it just has huge emotional implications for us. And um, so I want to start um, changing the wording around it and I want to start calling it adrenaline overflow. Um, stage fright at its purest form, um, whilst the word implies that we're petrified of the stage or the audience itself, um, what I believe is happening is I believe that we were actually um, scared of feeling the feeling of fear so we actually just don't want to feel the response the fight or flight response that happens in our body and we're scared of feeling that as opposed to the actual audience and stage um, so so stage fright broken down what's happening in your body what it actually is it's your hypothalamus um, triggering your pituitary gland um, which then secretes the hormone ATCH um, which then make, basically makes your adrenal glands pump adrenaline um, into your into your blood um, which starts to conserve the oxygen so it shuts down your digestive system and um, so all stage fright is is a um, primal response of fight or flight and um, so I just want to break that down so for the remainder of the video I'm going to try the whole time to uh, refer to stage fright as adrenaline overflow. My tip number two would be acknowledging even the biggest stars and most successful people in the industry have experienced adrenaline overflow slash a fight or flight response on stage. And um, of course by that I do mean what we call generally stage fright. Um, and I just want to take a moment to acknowledge it is literally nothing to do, nothing to do with how good you are as a performer and um, with your validity as a performer, with whether you should be doing this as a career. It has nothing to do with it. All it is is a incorrect, if you like, fight or flight response, a primal response that's happening because your body and your brain thinks you're in um, in danger. So back in the caveman days, it thinks the tiger's in the room when it's not. Um, so I just want to take a moment to acknowledge, and it's very important to acknowledge, it is nothing to do with you and how good you are and your validity as a performer. So my tip number three um, would be how we can use the breath when we are performing and just before we're performing to um, allow us not to go into the realms of adrenaline overflow or a fight or flight response. So when we are performing um, and if we are experiencing adrenaline overflow slash performance anxiety, um, it's very important to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And we can do this really simply by just breathing through our nose and really expanding as we breathe. Now, when we get into a fearful situation, we tend to hold our breath and contract, and it's not very helpful for getting us out of the realms of fight or flight. And of course, as soon as you switch on your parasympathetic nervous system, um, you switch off your fight or flight. So this is just a really good way to start to calm the system down. Um, so breathing through your nose, really nice expansive breaths. You have lots of parasympathetic nervous receptors in your lower lungs, and by breathing through your nose, you can access this area. And what I would say is before we go on stage, it's very important to get the body into a um, prepared zone. Um, so I like to call it attack mode, which is a bit of a weird word, um, but I, it's very important for the body to feel like it is about to go into a potentially vulnerable situation, but it is prepared. Um, so you need to be standing really tall with obviously like a really good posture to start to trick your body into feeling like that bit safer and that you are prepared and to be breathing nice and deeply through your nose, really expanding the body, expanding into the the belly when you breathe um, 
to tell your body that you are prepared to go into the situation that you're about to go into, i.e. performing. So my tip number four is again one of my favorite things to talk about is that preparation is key. I'm sure you all know the brain kind of acts like a muscle. We can start to train the brain to fire the neural pathways the way we want them to go. Um, now visualization as a tool is used by Olympic athletes before their competitions or events or games um, and it's a really good tool to use before we go on stage to visualize ourselves doing the song, the dance and monologue, whatever it is, visualizing ourselves however we want to feel. So whether that's like joyful, powerful, um, strong, confident, all these things, visualizing yourself doing it before you do it. And um, this starts to um, just starts to um, allow the brain to create new neural pathways around the situation before it happens. So I don't know whether you guys know, well, I'm sure you probably do, um, you're a powerful visualization and reality. Your brain actually doesn't know the difference between two. It thinks both are reality. Just like if you were to have a nightmare, you would wake up with your um, heart racing and your palms sweating. Your brain doesn't understand that that wasn't reality and you weren't actually in that situation. So visualizations are really, really powerful and worth looking into, and they are incredibly potent when the body is rid of any stress or anxiety. So one of the best ways to do this, and um, obviously I'm a breathwork practitioner, <laughs> that's why I'm doing it, is because I believe in breathwork, um, is, is during a breathwork session, you essentially rid the body of anxiety and stress, and then um, you know your visualizations become more potent. But you could try anything from um, meditation before you visualize, or you could try hypnotherapy even, um, all these sorts of things. Um, so so yeah, I hope that's useful and um, definitely see how you go with that one. So my tip number five would be using the power of affirmations to start to create new neural pathways around our um, around our thinking about performing, so new thought patterns around it. And um, affirmations are incredibly potent, especially when we do something called deactivate the amygdala in the brain. The amygdala um, stores our uh, responses and emotional responses, um, especially to fear actually, it's the part of the brain that stores um, and remembers that. And um, so it's really good to deactivate that as we start to create new neural pathways around how we're thinking about performing. Um, so the first thing I would get really clear on what your conscious mind believes that the fear is. Is it forgetting the words? Is it feeling judged? Is it um, feeling vulnerable? All these things, getting really clear on that and creating affirmations to then um, combat that. So for instance, an affirmation for if you were scared about feeling judged could be, I feel safe on stage. Um, the amygdala um, can be um, deactivated by certain acupressure points on the body. And now this is quite out there, so just try it and see whether this works for you. Um, but there are points such as um, here on your hand or here um, that you can actually tap as you're saying these affirmations. And it just basically deactivates the amygdala in the brain so you can start to more easily create um, new thought patterns around performing. And um, the other thing I would say, which is incredibly important is, um, especially at the moment with everything that's going on with the industry, um, would be to turn the dial down on your if you are experiencing stress or anxiety to turn the dial down on those levels um so it's really important to if you can to get a practice like breath work obviously i think that's the most potent one but um or or hypnotherapy or just taking really good care of yourself to start to um you know get in that parasympathetic nervous system to activate that so you're not um in a state of stress or anxiety um and this applies to if you are performing um, a lot of times a week eight times a week if you are consistently stressed and anxious through your day and you're carrying that in your body and then you're going on stage you're going to more potentially more easily go into the realms of adrenaline and overflow and um, so it's really important to create that balance and to turn the dial down on your overall stress um, and anxiety levels if you can um, by looking at a practice as I said for example like breath work or meditation so you can start to create that balance so you're not consistently up here thank you so much everyone and um, I hope there were some tools that were useful and um, you can visit me at www.powerofthebreath.co.uk if you want to send me an email with any questions or um, if you want to visit my Instagram I'm at breathe with Georgie if you want to DM me any questions and of course you can head to my website to look um, at what I do and how I um, deep dive into ridding anxiety and um, of course fear and stress from the body in a breathwork session thank you so much guys sending you so much love